Today we're going to look at Marichiasana C, pose dedicated to the sage Marichi. It's the third of the Marichiasana series sequence. There are four of them. As we look at C, I do encourage you, if you've not seen those two videos, please watch them first. Even if you watch this video and, it, and it's totally accessible to you, but you don't know much about Ashtanga Yoga or the series or sequence, please take a look at them and I'll put links in the description box below for you. Stretch your legs out in front of you, bending your right knee up. You want, just like Marichyasana A, to take your foot out so that there's space between your right foot and your left thigh. You want to lift out of your sits bone and for many that means that that sits bone will actually lift off the floor. If your back is long enough, you might find you're able to actually ground both sits bones here very comfortably and this is a prerequisite. Wrap your left arm around your bent right knee and wrapping your arm around, you can kind of wrap your elbow and grab that knee and really make a fist of your hand, pull the knee towards your chest and your right hand comes to the floor behind your right hip. You're pushing down through your right hand, grounding through your right hip, grounding through your right foot and flexing your left quadricep and you're gonna try to lift up as you push your hand down, lift your chest up, pull your chest to your knee to your knee to your chest and look over your right shoulder. This is five deep breaths as every other posture that you take in the primary series and with each breath, try to focus on lifting out through your chest and grounding down through your sits bones. After your fifth breath, you'll look forward, exhale, release the pose and take your vinyasa working to bring your left elbow over your bent right knee. It's a different but deeper variation of this pose, but really try to make sure that you're grounded through your sits bones. Push that right hand down, press your arm into your left knee, lift your chest, lengthen your spine, and look over your right shoulder. You would take this for five deep breaths. The end of your fifth exhale, inhale to look forward, exhale to release. Now, let's begin really digging into the full expression of Marichyasana C. If your armpit is touching your knee, then you know maybe you're ready. And that's when you start to rotate your left arm around and through your right knee. Then the work is now to rebalance your weight in space. So you then have to lift up out of your right sits bone, be able to ground here and then take your right arm behind you, ideally having your left hand grab your right wrist or at least your fingers together and squeezing your back muscles. So same as Marichyasana A and B, we're now in a very different version. Now we're in a rotation, but here I want you to continue to think of squeezing your back muscles, looking over your right shoulder, grip your palm gently to help activate the muscles in your forearm and squeeze your back as you open your chest, really lift your head, lengthen your spine, rotating over that right shoulder. Again, keep your left foot flexed and your left quadricep firm. Try to sit up out of your lower sits bones. After your fifth breath, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. So now we look at the left side. You wanna bring your left foot, ground it down. Really lift up out of your sits bones and flex your right foot from your right quadricep and find a place where you can really maintain your body in space. Bring your right arm over your bent left knee and the left hand push the palm down to the floor behind you. In this version of the posture, you're really grounding through your body. Ground those sits bones, lift up out of your lower back. And as you do that, really try to activate your back. Squeeze your back together, lift your chest, and look over your left shoulder. With every breath, you're still trying to exhale and pull your left knee towards your chest, as well as push your chest towards your left knee. So that's one of our oppositions of force. Inhale, look forward, exhale, release and you would take your vinyasa. And let's look at variation two again. Take your right arm now over your bent left knee. So your left hand stays the same right behind you. This time, you're still trying to find that extension up in space through your spine and flex your foot in from your quadricep. But I want you to really work to get your armpit close to your knee. And one way to do this, oppositions are wonderful. So try to push your left knee into your right arm and gently push your right arm into your left knee. 
When it comes to your shoulders, if your body is here, my knee is touching my arm, then you're really ready to start creating that rotation through your right arm. And hopefully by now it should kind of be as simple as this. And once you get to where your right hand kind of touches the other side, your left hip, try to start to shift all of your weight from being back here to being forward over your right hamstring. You're still flexing your foot in front of the quadricep, your right arm rests over, your left arm comes backward. And if you can, grab your fingers or grab your wrist and your work is not done here. So this is a place to hold yourself and try to work to open your chest. Make sure you're looking over your left shoulder, but you can also here kind of push your left knee into your arm and pull your arm to your knee and you're teaching your body how to slowly lengthen through that lower back and ground both sits bones and Marichyasana C. This is a very advanced version of that where both of your sits bones are grounded and the magic is just to slowly work to really open up and lengthen that T-band and work to ground through your torso and really press up out through your chest. After your exhale, inhale, look forward. Exhale, gently release and vinyasa. So we just looked at Marichyasana C. You've got several variations to play with. Really enjoy this posture because it feels really good. If you're working with that very first variation and you're like, whoo, this is kind of hard. Don't worry about this full expression stuff until you're there, until you're ready for it. When you're ready, you'll know. Remember that we have all the videos of this Yoga Asana series that is the primary series, the Ashtanga Yoga primary series, Yoga Chikitsa. I want to thank you so much for your support of this channel, and I really appreciate you being part of this community. Today, I want to take you through a quick review of the Merrick Q1 resistance rowing machine. I've always really enjoyed rowing as an extra source of exercise, but rowing specifically helps you to strengthen your back, your scapular muscles, obviously your legs, really gives you a bit better form, proprioceptive awareness. It's just a really cool additional tool to add to your toolbox of exercises. Another thing that I really love about this Merrick product is that it comes with a fitness app that you can download and literally connect your particular device to you. You can store your workouts. You have lots of options between free training, timed practices, and then they have advanced, intermediate, beginner rowing exercise videos that you can actually work out along to you. And with the Merrick Q1 rowing machine, it's super easy to put together. And I love how easy it is to store because I don't have a lot of space in my house. So once you're done with your workout, you can just flip it up and move it to the corner of any room in your house for easy storage. And I'm gonna show you how it works. So for today, I'm just gonna go into the app, pick a quick, easy timed workout, 10 minutes, you wanna make sure that your machine is on. You just press that center console button, it turns it on. And here I've already gotten my machine connected to the app and I've picked my workout. I'm gonna start training, click that button and then begin rowing. You can alter the resistance. Right now I'm at a resistance one. I wanna go up so I'm just gonna turn this knob up to about a seven. You wanna push through your feet. So most of the work in your rowing exercise comes through your legs. You wanna keep your back nice and strong. And you just bend your elbows to help finish the movement. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. Try not to lock out your knees. As soon as you extend your body backward, just begin to move your body back to forward position. This is a wonderful addition to your home exercise regimen. If you'd like to get your very own Merrick rowing machine, check out the description box below. There's a link to a discount code for you. Thanks so much guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you here next time.